Oh, praise to the Most High. Thank you for this beautiful Wednesday. The rest is up to me. Let's go get it. All right. I want to first start off by saying I'm not a Democrat. I'm not a Republican. I'm a God-fearing man. All right. <laughs> Let's get that on out the way. I'm not a Democrat or Republican. I am a God-fearing. And I'm an American. I'm an American, all right? And the way America headed and the way it's looking, like we headed into a recession, y'all, all right? You go to the grocery store, everything high. Gas stations high. Rent going up. People homeless, like Americans. And it seems like people that come across the border illegally get a better head start, a better advantage than Americans. It should be no way Americans out here hungry, nowhere to live, struggling, and they can't get food stamps. When you go try to get food stamps, they give you a hard time. They want to know everything, all right? They want to know all the way down to your grandmama. They want to know where you're living. They want to know everything about you as a poor American. And they just might not give it to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. But illegal immigrant come in there, no matter if they was raping people in their country, killing people, doing whatever, they're going to get food stamps. They're going to get public assistance. But Americans have to go through red tape. Y'all don't see what's going on? Same thing with the driver's license. They just handing them driver's license. All right? They're trying to make them police officers in Chicago. You know how hard it is for an American to be a police officer? The red tape you got to go through? I just don't understand as an American. All right? Hard times are now. And we got President Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris not doing nothing for America. They just sitting back watching America just be destroyed, going to a deficit that we can't come out of. All right, we headed into a recession, people. And they sit back. And I guess we supposed to go through another four years of Obama. Because that's all Joe Biden was. He was just another four years of Obama. He was just another four years of, of, of American struggling, man. So we have to get Camilla Harris, and she going to do the same thing. What's going to be different from this lady being vice president and her becoming president? What is she going to change? Is she going to stop uh, the borders? You cannot ask this lady a question and she give you a straight answer. I've seen her have conversations with people. She cannot give you a straight answer. Because that's that uh, state's attorney that's in her. That's that district attorney that's in her. All right. Go all around the answer, but would not give you an answer. Here's the thing, people. My mentor called me, texted me, sent me a whole bunch of videos on Donald Trump. A whole bunch of videos. Basically saying, don't vote for Donald Trump. This is my mentor. Someone I look up to, someone I, someone I love dearly, that I know that have my back. I know she got my back, all right? She sent me all this stuff about Trump. Understand this, P people, it's the lesser of the evil. Democrats and Republicans, they are not. Don't y'all know there's someone over both parties and control both parties? Obama and George Bush are the same. The governor in Texas, that's a Republican, he's with the deep state. He's no different than Obama and, and, and the Democrats, shipping all the legal immigrants to the middle of America. These are their plans. And... My sister don't know that these people have a plan that Donald Trump is going to stop. And I just want her to know the reason why I will vote for Donald Trump over Camilla Harris is. We headed into a recession. We have a money problem. We have an illegal immigration problem. I'm talking about American. You can't go in a grocery store without spending three, four hundred dollars on some items. All right. Everything is high in America. If Trump get back in office, he dealt with money his whole life. 
his whole life he dealt with money. He will get America back on track. We won't be in a deficit. We won't be in a, a recession, y'all. Forget about the Democrat, Republican stuff. You are an American. And just think for one second. If we go another four years, imagine how expensive stuff would be in stores. Imagine how high gas prices would be. Imagine how many homeless Americans it would be with rent hikes going up. Just imagine. If Trump get in, he going to reverse all of that. The man know how to deal with money, all right? I was pissed with them ladies that sat down on the couch with Donald Trump, my black sisters, all right? Because not one of them asked this man about infrastructure. This man had built hotel. He didn't build all type of stuff. You should have been asking him what can he build for our community to help us get money, to get out this recession, see people. You have to get off the black face, the white face, all this stuff voting just off of color. Right now, we headed into dark ages, dark times. All right? It's finna get hectic for Americans. It's finna get hectic. Donald Trump know how to deal with money, know how to manage money. And guess what? When he get in office, all that money we give to Ukraine and all these, it's over. We will no longer be wasting money with Donald Trump. And guess what else? You can say whatever you want to say about Donald Trump. He put Americans first. The Democrats, Camilla Harris, and some of these Republicans showed us they don't care about Americans. They put Americans last. You cannot tell me as an American from Chicago in the ghetto I did enough research to find out that Venezuela opened their penitentiary, woman and man jail, homeless, on the street, let them out, and sent them all to America. You can't tell me as a president, as somebody in office, you don't know this, and I know this. <laughs> you can't tell me. This is their plan. Why do you think they're giving them $20,000 in cash and $14,000 in length? Food steps. When Americans out here sleeping under bridges, veterans, women, children, everything. And not one time did they blink thinking about homeless Americans. But they'll get up there and fight for illegal immigrants that came from the penitentiary. And you know how hard it is for an American with a background to get a job? And you see how easy they making it is for them? And you want me to vote for Camilla Harris? The lady that can't even give you an answer to nothing. Donald Trump can give you the answer. He have the answers, man. Donald Trump have the answers. He dealt with money his whole life. We headed into a recession. Right now, America's going through it in hard times. Let Donald Trump get back in there and put us back on track, man. I don't think Donald Trump is a Republican or a Democrat. Because once upon a time, all you black celebrities was on his job. Now all of a sudden, y'all against him when he when he decides to run for president up under the Republican team. Hillary Clinton, Bill Clinton was all on his job. People, all this stuff is on the internet. If you do research, you will find out. I do research. So I just want to say to my mentor, God won't let me vote for Camilla Harris. What they did to Donald Trump trying to knock his head off on national television, have his head explode so the whole world can see it, was the devil. It was evil. And you could say Donald Trump is the KKK. I don't care. Because I know he good with money. I guess I'll be voting for the KKK. And I don't think he KKK. Because y'all didn't when y'all was hanging around. Jesse Jackson, all y'all. So no, I will not be voting for Camilla Harris. I will be voting for Donald Trump. And 